Seems like every week we are telling you about some sort of uh, online scam that's targeting you, the latest hack that's possibly compromised thousands, if not millions of accounts. Uh, it's something we continuously talk about here. And if you have a computer, a tablet, a smartphone, guess what? You are a target. Cyber thieves are after you. They're probably smarter than you are, and they're probably way ahead of you at this point. The latest big threat right now uh, is criminals basically taking all of your files hostage. It's called a ransomware, and maybe you're familiar with it, but do you know how to protect yourself against it? Uh, cases of ransomware increased 35-fold in the first quarter of this year, according to Infoblox. So we brought in security expert Brian Seeley, talk a little bit more about this, and it's something you've known about for way longer than any, most of the rest of us, because this is what you do. So what is it? Ransomware is just the new fancy thing for Trojan, virus, malware, it's something you don't want on your computer, and they're sending it to you in an email or in a fake website of some kind, and it's designed to brick your computer. So I've got my anti-malware, I've got my antivirus programs up and running to protect against those. Doesn't do any good for this. No. The hackers and the people behind this, they've gotten really good at bypassing these antivirus programs. Why is it such a big deal? Why, why this? It's instant, and you lose everything. And if you don't pay them, you've just lost everything on your computer. And if you don't have a backup, you're done. You, have, you are forced to pay them or give up your stuff. And what happens when you do pay? Do you get your stuff back? Does that always happen, or sometimes it doesn't happen? The funny thing is they want a good reputation for being criminals. They want you to pay and then to give feedback saying, I got my files back so that the next person will pay. The University of Calgary, yesterday, $16,000 they paid because they got hit with ransomware. Okay, so it comes into the system because, or your computer or your tablet, through generally what, an email? And how does that work? It could be an email, it could be an attachment on the email, it could be you downloaded a program that you thought you needed, a coupon printer, some new link that your mom sent, but it wasn't really her. There's a million different ways. You have to have high spam filters. You need to be careful of what you open and make sure you have good backups. There's no substitute for the fundamentals in backing up your stuff, because if you don't, you're already at the end of a trail of bad decision making. Well, sometimes you go through and you have a, a lot of emails. I know I do at work and I go through those and what my spam box doesn't catch. I'm like, okay, if I accidentally open one of those instead of deleting it, Theoretically, I could download something. Is that correct? More often than not, they're going to be in an attachment of some kind. Okay. It's going to be a um, Anna Kornikova, new pictures, her playing right. tennis, so on the beach, something so stupid. You think it would be obvious, but people still click on it or they wouldn't still be sending this. These guys are the best social engineers in the world, and they get a lot of data. If I send a million emails and 50% of them open it, that subject, that hook that they got you with, is pretty good. If they tried something like recipes for eggplant and 2% open it, they know not to use that again. Gotcha. So who are they targeting? Is, is it individuals? Is it my smartphone, my, my PC at home? Or is it, are they really going after the businesses like you've mentioned? I know we've seen a couple of high profile ones because if the business isn't doing the right thing, I mean, or even backing up their, their system, you can get a pretty big payday. The bad news is they're going after everyone. It's not <laughs> hard to go after everyone. What do they do? Just send out an email that basically can attack no matter what platform you have. How does it know what kind of device I have and it, what kind of... They don't have to pay postage. They can send out a lot more emails than they can regular letters. And so they can go after every consumer who also has a job. They can go after everyone everywhere. And it's just a matter of catching fish, fish in a net. It's really simple for them. The bottom line, real quickly, how do you protect yourself? Back up your stuff. Offline backups, something like a hard drive that detaches from the computer. Make sure you've got the up-to-date, like Kaspersky, and use uh, application whitelisting. It'll prevent anything from running, like crypto locker viruses, things like that, ransomware. There are a million articles every day coming out because everyone's freaking out. Take five minutes out of your break at work and go read about this and there are some very simple steps. And it's pretty much the same steps for all the other stuff, but this stuff's freaking people out. All right, good to know, Brian Seeley. Appreciate you coming in this morning. Thanks, Thanks Greg.